Hello, my friends. All right. Here's a little tip for you. I've had this come up several times over the last couple of weeks, and I thought I should make a video on it. A lot of you are getting into KV Core now, and you're starting to play with a little bit. You're getting your contacts all loaded in there and starting to get a little bit of a taste of what it can do for you. But I want to point out a couple quick things that can really make your experience uh, better. Okay. One of the magic things about KV Core is the automation. It's got some very smart systems, but in order for those to work, some of the details really matter. So for example, I've got my test contact in here. I need to pay attention if it's a buyer, seller, renter, vendor, and agent. When I ported it in my list, everything ported in and defaulted as a buyer, okay? They also all ported in as a prospect, okay? So it says here, this action could affect or remove the currently assigned smart campaign. So I can choose whether or not to move it. I want to move everything down to sphere. Now, if you're not sure what these different statuses are, KV Core does have a little training on this for you, and I would recommend that you watch it, but I'm not gonna take time for that today. What I'm gonna emphasize is that you do make sure that this, this status here, whether they're a buyer, seller, renter, vendor, or an agent, and their client journey status is correct. Here's why. When I close out the client file, and I go down here to marketing and the smart campaigns, you'll notice some of the campaigns here. These start automatically when, the, when it's marked as an active lead and it's a buyer. Or this one starts when it's a renter, this one starts when it's a seller, and it's marked as an active lead. So again, if I've got somebody that's just in my sphere of influence, I don't want this campaign to run. Now, the cool thing about this is you can build your own campaigns. I'm building one down here at a company level for as part of my training program for working with buyers. So if I'm working with a, a buyer and I change that status to client, this would automatically start. It would give me a task re reminding me that I need a signed buyer agency agreement. And then it's immediately going to send a welcome email. And I can build that template, which I already have. It's already built out. It's going to send that out automatically. The next day, it's going to send out a little lender introduction email. And then it's going to have a task as a reminder from me that I need to get that pre-qualification pre letter from the lender and have it on file. Then there's an automated text that's going to go out on day three. So all of these automations will work automatically. I build the system one time, which takes a little bit of effort up front. But one of the nice things for you guys with the company is you could take this campaign and you could say, I like it, but I want to change it a little bit. I want to make it my own. You can clone the campaign and then the clone is yours and you can do with it whatever you want. But it all runs off of that automation. Is it a buyer and what is their status? And that's how you trigger your campaigns for the automation. So make sure that as you're working with your sphere of influence, that those things are correct. Those details are updated. All right. Thank you. Hopefully that helped.